We're back at Great Adventure. Son of Beast here. Stick with us. Keep me popping and checking, guy. I gotta represent. Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep copping all the chest. So we're, so it's a fun day. A little coldy, but but a nice day out. So we just got off of the Safari off road adventure. Totally a lot of fun. And on the left, and on my left, there is the uh, log flume. It's still closed. They're still filling, filling up the water, but we have no idea when it will be open before the summer ends. So this time we are about to enter the minor, runaway mine train. This is our first uh, coaster that we are doing for, for right now. And for that, we'll see you guys in the next update when we get off. The runaway mine train. Oh, join the ride. And it's brought to you by our DJW Burn Abbas and Rockets Cancer for our Institute. I just got off of that runaway my train, and I'll tell you, this coaster was so jerky. It just gives a big hit, and all of a sudden, it made a little banking turn, and it just got hit. I'll tell you what my mom did. Uh, she had a lot of bruises. She thinks this coaster was eight bumpy. Full. It, it was, was bum bumpy. So bumpy. I can't handle it anymore. How about you? You can't handle this? Bumpy. Oh, wow. That wasn't the same thing, just like Trailblazer, but... But the trailblazer from Hershey Park was smooth. And there, as you can see, there's the uh, turn that was okay. That was a smooth part that just happened. A little airtime hill, that was it, okay. Next up, we are heading to Bazaar. So, see you guys when I get off the coaster and for another update. Ride, I just, I just really like how the coaster was. It was a fantastic ride. As you can see, they're, uh, they're heading on their way almost there to the top. Well, I'm sorry, there's a little push over it covered here, so sorry about that. But in the meantime, they're about to be heading down. I'll take one shot, and then we'll head to El Toro until the next time day. So, see you guys. Driver out to got a lot of airtime moments. Guys, okay, so take a look from the view. Little tracks are very good right now. They're making so many uh, progress to get this uh, track a lot. Airtime hills. I think the El Toro is very good. I'm wondering if they're going to put the uh, Icon Space here. The, um, the one with the twist right here. We're not sure if it's going to happen, but we'll find out soon in a minute. And here it comes right now. Very good. Alright, so that was the end of El Toro. No looping coaster was... Looping, looping coaster was already demolished. It was already removed from the park. I think I'm about to be replacing the iBox coaster right here. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but... But we'll, we'll determine and see what we can have. A large coaster or iBox coaster for next next year's 2020. In the meantime, we're heading for our next ride, Grand Jardin Kim the Khan. See you guys in the next update. Oh, the cool thing is that we can walk into the wild wild animals uh, walkway through and take a look at the animals right there. As you can see on my left, this is where the uh, this is where the lions are at. African lions, you know, like from the uh, like from the Afro Safari. They're very cool. Alright, we'll we'll stick up for the next one after I ride two of them. Sleeping. Went off on Kinda Ka, that was an amazing ride. And then Tim and Jard is right down there. As you can see, um, they already dropped the a few people all way down. But I looked straight ahead and they said, don't look down. Really really whiskey. So for right now we're gonna be walking all the way down. We'll see what's going on the other side of the theme park attractions right after this. So see you guys after this. Alright so we only have three attractions. The one for the parachute jump tower for the camp, the Superman Ultimate Flight and Green Lantern roller coaster. The stand-up coaster right down there. So with that being said let's get on with the uh, parachute and me and my mom will do it. You excited for the uh, parachute? Yes! All right, so here we go, parachute. Let's get going. Okay, just finished off with the Superman Ultimate Flight. That was a fun flight for right now. 
fun flight. And the Green Lantern first, the Green Lantern roller coaster was an amazing ride. Kind of a little shaking around, but the corkscrew was still painful. As you can see right down there, uh, basketballs are right down there. So we only have Joker, Great Hurry Quinn's new section for the ride of Last of the Truth. And it looks like it's starting to rain a little, but we'll see if it passes right now. So, see you guys. Now for the Nitro and Batman, that was a great ride. Even though I wrote in the front for the Batman and the Dark Knight. It was very good, like a wild mouse, but my mom doesn't want to go in. She does not like it. And now the Lasso Troop will work for me, so... Yep, it's already open. I just haven't seen the grand opening it yet, but hopefully it will be fun. Make sure there are no dizziness, no spinning, just uh, spinning from a circle. So with that, let's get going. And I'll be uh, riding in no problem. See you guys. Wow, that Wonder Woman Lasso Troop was most insane ride ever. And let me tell you, I just loved it. I really love this ride. If you got a chance to go on this uh, Lasso of Truth, be sure to head to a Six Flags Great Adventure and you'll be the only one to ride the Lasso of Truth. I love the thrill ride. This is the number one most new ride ever of all time. In fact, we only got a few rides to go and there's the Lunar Looper Science Exploration right next to the Battle for Metropolis of Hall of Justice. See you guys after the last few rides. For our next update. So that was a fun ride after it was closed due to some, te some technical difficulties but now it's already back in place. This one was still my favorite, the Joker. I cannot believe that it was a that it was a fun ride. A lot of spinning action but a great ride so far. So we went on about for Metropolis and then and then we got off on Batman and then we did and then I did Nitro and then and then you could see the uh, golden the lasso of truth was still in place that's new so can't forget about the ride so once again if you haven't ride this one before you better go check it out because i'm warning you try this ride if you can't if, if you don't like this ride don't worry that's fine but if you like it do it again try it with your friends and see how it goes in the meantime son of beast is out of here don't forget to subscribe uh post comments below thumbs up if you like the video and there's still more to come so stay tuned for for the announcements for six flags great adventure new for 2020 attraction so will they get the launch coaster or rmc ibox coaster from rocky mountain we'll see how it goes in the meantime peace out until now for six flags great adventure dial bye peace bitch.